Ladies and gentlemen, it is, oh, look at Ayaka. It is version 4.3's special program, Roses and Muskets. So I was not expecting this. We have Ayaka, I guess. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's a, oh, and, and Freen is like directing the video. But she doesn't want to actually be in the video. She'd rather be behind the scenes, as she said. And who is that behind her? That's either Emily, Chiori. No, because yeah, Chevreus has crossed out the list. We got Chevreus now. So, I don't know. Far left? I don't know who that is. That's either Emily or Chiori. 4.3 trailer. Here we go. Yeah, operator. That can be a pretty technical job. Are you really up to it? <laughs> That's got to be a funny one. Wait, you put no thought into finding a good camera angle, and the characters weren't in the shots. Ahem. Positions, everyone! <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Navia, the president, leader, commander in chief, executive director, and boss of All right. Sandy Rosula. Nice. Hey there! Oh, she uses her umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> and the glasses. All right, cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Oh, Marina's really is on set. The gear is the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup done. Extras, go over your position. Dude, who is? Oh, it is you. Actors, do your Xavier. Position. Lights, camera, action. Enough villain. Pay for the death of our mother! Ayaka. <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> Your crimes are evident! Polearm? Drop your weapon! Polearm and gun. <laughs> Grenades? Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the next scene. You and Mia? You mean... Did you really think you'd get away? Chevres. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. Oh, dang. Excellent! That was beyond mesmerizing. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Uh, not the kind of waves that drown people. <laughs> I mean, the good kind yeah, of waves. Yeah, not those kind of waves. All right, it's a little fun little comedy. All right. Oh, man, I'm still waking up. That, this, that'll be a funny one. Yeah, I think it, I think it might have been, or it wasn't in... Maybe, or was it by like the uh, Orga or whatever her name is from Inazuma? No, I think it actually was Chiro though. Frida is back in action. Yeah, at least she's yeah, at least she's like motivated again. That's nice. That's nice. So that's uh that should be a funny one, fun little film. But Chiori looks really good. Chiori looks really good. That character actually looks kind of like different in terms of in terms of like Genshin's characters. Don't stand for me. Oh, yeah. She actually looks really cool. They showed her like she was there, but oh, she's definitely not going to be on the banner. special program, everyone. I'm That's Sarah sure. Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine, and today Sarah. I'm joined by. Hey everybody, I'm Brenna Larson, the voice of Navia. Brenna Larson. of the Spina di Rosula. And I'm Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Chevrolet. Wait. Yay! Brenna Larson. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the first time we've had you two on the special program. Well, for a second, she was like Captain Marvel. <laughs> Okay, no, so I still don't actually, say in person. Um, we have a tradition on the program where we all get to sing everyone a little song. Oh. Do we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice try. I've seen the special programs before. You don't oh. want to sing a song? You can sing a, like, a little song. I love singing. A little stricter. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
mansion impact no okay Ooh. uh back to business back to business <laughs> so i like the place that they call okay, roses like and muskets before, this program is sponsored by the chioria business. or it's just the name so of the patch while sharing content from version 4.3 i also wanted to get some inspiration for shooting commercials for the boutique mm -hmm. we don't want to let the our boutique. client down yeah and, and speaking of new content we can't have a new version without introducing some new characters as you oh, saw right video, into it. Navia and Shavros will be our new playable characters. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh I'm sure many already. of our viewers are already familiar with Navia after seeing her throughout. I wonder if she's season. four star or five star. She looks but who, good, but Shavras, who indeed she kind of looks like a really good four star. <laughs> I don't know. Like characters five, so. have already mentioned Chevrolet before in their voice lines, but um, Chevrolet will finally be making an official appearance in version 4.3. Chevrolet. Oh, so excited! Mm -hmm. so exciting. <laughs> oh, by the way, what do you think of letting one of our characters from the new version take the lead role in our commercial? Oh well, I mean, if we're shooting a video for Chioria Boutique, then I think Navia would be an obvious choice. After all, Navia's clothing was designed. Chiori by Chiori definitely has well. class. So you know what? It makes sense. That was Actually, a really natural sounding product placement for Chioria Boutique. You're, art, you're amazing at this. <laughs> I know. Hey, I know with the like pistol. Placement, but Chiori really was yeah, she has a four star vibe outfit. to her. Looks like um, a really next, good let's have a look at her fashion design, Ooh, but fashion four star. Show, we mean her character showcase. Doo -doo -doo. I always say that blind optimism isn't the answer. If oh no, she has a future. You have to wind and seize it with your own two hands. Yeah, so she uses her umbrella and she can shoot, apparently. Okay. Sorry, can we take a moment to appreciate how perfectly Chiori customizes Benno Larson. Larson's clothes and accessories to reflect her personality? Look at that she art, the art, the font, too. a lot of too. attention to the small details. <laughs> Erica, I love how seriously you're taking the sponsorship. It's really great. I haven't great. learned <laughs> much so far yet, though. So. Um, while we're on this topic, though, Aki. Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. On the outside, it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun. Lovely, dutiful, outside, and a great boss. It's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies at a moment's notice. Yeah. It's elegant they gave her and her Uzi all at once. For, so I guess, yeah. I guess she has a little bit of blue exactly. accents. Even when it comes to her enemies, Navia is not the type to achieve basic etiquette. Oh, she's an axe? Etiquette. So she prefers to maintain appropriate distance while in combat. Wait, while using her is that just like a skill, really Navia cool customized claymore? And fires multiple Rosula shard shots that can pass through opponents, dealing geo damage upon a successful strike. Ooh. For a oh. period of time, after using her elemental skill, Navia's normal charged and plunging attacks hey, will deal geo increased infusion. damage and become infused with the power New of Noel. geo, which cannot <laughs> be overridden. Now, when Navia is in combat. There are these oh, Beto's back. Around her that look like bullets. I wonder if that's some sort of ammo for the gunbrella. She literally has yeah, ammo. Yes, yeah. You guessed it. When a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain crystal shrapnel charges. Navia will consume oh. these charges after unleashing her elemental skill. Her skill damage increases with the number of charges that she's accumulated. Oh. So the okay, more crystallized okay. shards so you get, that's your ammo. That Navia's elemental skill becomes more powerful if she works together with mm -hmm. other characters mm -hmm. in the party to trigger. Oh, that's already reaction. good. Yes, exactly. It's not a mono geo team. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula that's crazy. <laughs> the verse. Salute, which unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her, periodically dealing geo elemental damage. It's like Armageddon, Geo Armageddon. Navia will accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain intervals if she strikes enemies with the Rosula Dorada salute. Ooh, they did a good job with that because she can spectacular. easily <laughs> make awesome. crystallize in a lot of different ways. Spina de Rosula likes to perform fire. It's like Halbert, yeah. For important negotiations, you know, four piece Petra. Future success. Don't misunderstand, you guys. It's not an intimidation tactic Wait. at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. I well, guess I don't know. Just the Spina's way of showing respect in I think maybe own she game. wants to do the damage, yeah, totally. maybe. Not intimidating at all. No. <laughs> I think she seems like, like, like an on-fielder. Of the Spina di Rosula, Navia is always... Hey, we got our character for this. Intel it's Navia. All corners of Fontaine. There you go. When Navia is dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Fontaine... It's Navia. Will be increased. 
Okay, so we just mentioned that Navia is a new story of quest. The Spina Rosa Multiflora. So I think we should bring up Spina's contributions to averting mm. Fontaine's prophesized crisis. It's a long burst. I mean, it was oh, all was it? thanks to Navia's leadership. Animation. Exactly. Some people mm. even lost their lives during that disaster. I'm certain that those. She seems like an on-fielder, but she remained tough and but quick to though, Spina. like sort of quick. Yeah. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of Fontaine's crisis, though the prophesized dangers are like over, get your crystallized shards and then do your shotgun right? blast. Mm -hmm. I bet Navia is going to be occupied with that for a long time. Oh, definitely. That's something oh, that right, travelers will be able to see for themselves. Navia story quest, the Rosa Multiflora chapter, will become available in version four. <laughs> Silver and the other guy. Espina will be working diligently to rebuild Rip. Poisson. Though repairing sucks, the houses though. will Dang. be straightforward, the emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. Rip. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, then be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know I'm if I am excited. Seeing what happens. <laughs> we'll okay, see so Navia, Navia cry again. Navia. It's time for Chevrolet. Chevrolet. <laughs> Erica okay, Lindbeck. She's a newcomer. You probably can't wait to the learn law. more about her. So let's get right into it. Okay. All right. Um, Please, healer, 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 healer. Uh, first off, Chevres is the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance. Get rid of Bennett, it's a please. It's organization that handles all sorts of difficult cases and dangerous criminals. Ooh. <laughs> she doesn't like to appear in public without good cause, mm -hmm. so if you happen to Where is to the Mason her, Garden? It's likely that you're in some sort of trouble. But, oh. but as long as you're a law-abiding citizen, there's no need to worry. <laughs> Chevres is actually Seriously, really easy don't to get break along the law. with outside of work. Oh, Feastos are just the best snack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with you and go with so many sauces. Using a death match. She looks so similar to someone else. Final warning. It's a Mika fan. Hands where I can see them. And that's her burst. It's like a big like grenade explosion. Um, what? That was and polearm, so yeah. fire. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about her skin. Polearm <laughs> gun. Oh my gosh. Look at her idol oh, animation. Oh, and yeah, Mika. I That's crazy. That she loves snacks. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. She's a girl's girl, and she gets it. <laughs> yeah. That's another character it. who eats oh food. <laughs> She's not Final exactly warning. what you'd expect from the captain of the special patrol, though, right? I guess that's she seems kind like of true. I mean, Chevrolet's full of more life can be really than I expected. Stressful. I mean, I can't blame the girl for indulging every once in a while to relieve some stress. She even adjusts her training regimen to make up for her snacks. Chevrolet. In fact, she trains more than any other member of the special patrol. Chevy. Her platoon really <laughs> admires her for that. Wow. Okay, she's got some willpower. That right, is please, awesome. Just tell me she's we really can admirable. The special finally have another pyro healer. Ability above all else. So the organization often attracts some eccentric personalities. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the special like, patrol like, used to have problems with features. coordination, but ever since Chevrolet took control, everyone has fallen into line, which does not surprise me at all. <laughs> and that eye patch is probably a real eye patch too. She's a too. fighter, and she leads by example. Not a facial eye patch. She excellence from her platoon. She holds herself to even higher standards. She always tries to be an example for others to follow, whether it's investigating cases or in marksmanship. Pom pom with a gun. It looks like a lot of her skills involve using a musket. She must be a pretty good shot. Mm hmm, for sure. The JP. Chevrolet and her musket are basically part of the Oh, for two from Oh. She definitely knows her way around a firearm. Chevrolet uses her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh. For a period of time after Wait. unleashing her elemental skill, Chevrolet will continuously restore HP to the active character on the field. During her elemental burst, Chevrolet fires an explosive grenade. We did her, it! Which will We're finally free from Bennett. Upon impact. It's How possible to play Bennett? another pyro <laughs> healer who's not Bennett. Wait, we I did it. Chevrolet has bullet-like markings. Oh, she has a, yeah, she has it too. Combat. Can she shoot a special type of ammo? That's right. Oh my god! Thank you. Fall when a nearby party member triggers the overloaded reaction. Holding Chevrolet's elemental skill will consume this special ammo to unleash an even more powerful pyro attack that covers a larger AoE. This attack okay. will also grant an attack buff to all pyro and electro characters in the party. Mm. Okay, so that's where the name Overcharged Ball comes from. Uh huh. Is she, she like? Came up with the name herself. Oh. She was reading a novel where the protagonist believes. Is she that like Nilu for power. Overload? If you give something a cool sounding name, then you've given yourself an advantage over your enemies. Or is that just like a little bonus? Her, 
Oh, well, I guess she has a point. Oh, I should also mention Overload what happens base? is paired with all pyro and electro base characters. Though. <laughs> if your party contains at least one character Wait. of either type, then triggering the overloaded reaction will cause an opponent's pyro and electro resistances to decrease. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she is kind of like that. Really shine in an overload team comp. But I also did notice Okay, that that's actually really interesting. Limited to a musket. Mm -hmm. She also uses a pole arm in combat. <laughs> but hopefully she's Honestly, not like tied to pull, that though. I feel like I'd be pretty nervous if she came after me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so an overload character. Most people who have something to hide avoid her like their lives depend on it. And maybe it does. <laughs> in all seriousness hmm. though, that's why Chevrolet trains so hard. She has to be able to catch a wide variety of cunning criminals. Yeah, it really is an overload at all costs. So when I patched Chevy, party, Kaya, for sure, Yeah, sure, sprinting I decreased. patched you. Sprinting oh, character. Love that. These two new characters so are the... both of Oh, Overload, yeah, Overload buffer. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard yeah, I just mean as in, like, that character <laughs> makes the reaction I will make this even do more, for you. you know? Oh, no. We're about to take a look at what event wishes that travelers like can look forward makes to bloom, in version 4.3. Like how Nilu makes Bloom, Bountiful Blooms. She makes, she, she makes Overload. The of our commercial is about to get even bigger. I guess, like, oh, my gosh. she shreds and... <laughs> in the first half of version 4.3. Oh, so it's Ayaka, yeah. For Navia and Ayaka. A new five-star claymore, Verdict. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. The freaking axe. Wish. In the second half of version 4.3, no. we'll have returning event wishes from the Raiden Shogun and Yoimiya. During this Shevers time, Shevers on the will second also one. receive a huge drop rate boost. Yay. Be sure to check oh, out if you're man. That's awesome. Travelers can also look forward to two new artifact sets in version 4.3. Yep. Oh, here we go. Songs of Days Past and Nighttime Whispers in the Echoing Woods. Oh, Be God, sure to keep an eye Geo. on future announcements to learn more about them. This seems like the perfect time oh, okay. for our first break. We've shared a ton of information so far, and it's I definitely Navia set in the first one. Time to digest it all. You're right. For <laughs> definitely. Sure. Let's yeah, I can't tell the take second a look one. at the second group of redemption codes. The version 4.3 special program mm. is brought to you by Chioria Boutique, and will return shortly. Yeah. So it does seem like you only want. Yeah. She seems like she seems like a. Play a certain team and I'll give you buffs. So like play Pyro and Electro. Much like how Nilu is like Hydro or Dendro. It's kind of like the almost the same kind of thing. I but I hope it's not like she's useless without that. Like I hope it is not like Nilu where it's like the blooms can't happen if you're not playing that comp. I hope she can't. I hope she can still do something without having to play that overload comp. Like, I hope she can just still be a pyro healer on her own. I hope. But that's already great news. We finally have another pyro healer besides Bennett. We've had Bennett since 1.0 and have never had a pyro character to heal ever again. Or ever since 1.0. So we finally have a second option. I hope. But. Yeah, and a Ryan Rewind. Welcome back, everyone. Right in. So, we thoroughly discussed our cast. But Shever's on the Shiori second side. Oh. But the content of the commercial is also important, Did. right? Do you have any ideas? Well, it's good if you're going for Ryan, though. If we're making a commercial for Chiori. But Yoi Mia. Then how oh, about man. we include some event footage of Chiori? Oh, oh, I guess I'll be getting some Ryzen cons, too. Is actually going to appear in the event for version Man, why couldn't she bought the first what? one? While the travelers have been able to see her hmm. store in the court of Fontaine, they'll finally get to meet her ultimate, in person. Yes. Ultimate overload mega. Can also look forward to meeting magic Kayaka sword. And Ayato in Fontaine. Chiori ultimate overload to mega by, magic so sword. Here they are. So cool. Hey, this is actually the perfect right. time for a word from our sponsor. An Inazuma born fashion icon, Chiori. Oh, just the attack Chiori buff. Okay. Is your one stop shop for the latest and most influential is... fashion in Fontaine. Oh, yeah, whoever you put. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Chiori. Maybe you build it with HP. With the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Sayaka oh, yeah, to yeah. Xavier and recommended that they make the trip to Fontaine for the Fontanalia film. Yeah, Chiori looks so awesome. So exciting. Will you tell us more about the Fontanalia film? We're getting Chiori there. <laughs> Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights. According to the myths, they the went Loch on a Knights. quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most important hmm. festivals in Fontaine, like what the Windbloom Festival is to Mondstadt. And is that a piece of tape? To Liyue. Ah, so exciting! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
the I call it a crystal film there. association proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival earlier this year. And during this time, the public may hmm. submit films for evaluation. The entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. <laughs> the Farina well, Award. You can see Farina working with Ayaka. It's literally a year. piece of tape, yeah. So wait. Does this mean Crystal? that there's a chance that Farina might win the Farina Award? <gasps> okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave you in suspense. If travelers are curious about what Ayaka and we'll have to play the event. Fontaine, or how Farina fared, it's like a you'll just have to play the event when the new version becomes available. Hmm. But for uh, Fontaine? So we know that several friends from Inazuma will be in Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Oh, okay. But travelers okay. have so much more to be excited about. Travelers will also have the it's opportunity like a little to participate festival. in a variety in of activity booths during the festival. Each one will have a different theme. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so cool. The first activity booth is the Thousand Pace Interaction hey, Arc Minute Sharpshooting Zone. In this activity, travelers will use the special security and surveillance patrol simulation what? device to practice targeting <laughs> and shooting opponents. Yep. Ooh, okay, that's pretty funny. The public to experience how fun target <laughs> can be. Genshin the Sniper Ghost Warrior. Booth is called Trick Shots. Genshin Elite. Lights. In this activity, travelers will use the studio special lighting effects to film what is a that fight team? scene. Take advantage of the oh. looks brought about by the special lighting effects to defeat an okay. endless stream of opponents and obtain a higher score. So cool. Those special lighting effects are really hmm. giving off old movie vibes. Navia's movements are also super smooth. It's also I like so the Geo awesome. infusion on Navia though. Oh, for yeah. sure. Get an FPS is real. Everyone is enjoying Zila. the fun and games. Travelers will meet a contract employee at the third activity booth. She needs some help with her demanding client. During the activity Extreme Drive, travelers will help her test out stabilization mecha balls. Look what? at how the traveler chases after those stabilization <laughs> mecha balls. Okay, I bet that contract employee can relate since she's being chased down. This by actually kind of looks interesting. <laughs> stabilization Just because the, the cough co experience. actually very agile. They'll automatically avoid all testers by Glitz moving ball. in the opposite direction of your movement. You can find jump boosters around the testing grounds. Travelers can use them to jump higher and further. Oh, oh, I see. He's trying to get it all to his goal so he can win. Mecha ball. Okay. Travelers in co-op matches will have to find a way to hurt as many After all those fan-made animations. Mecha balls into their target area as possible within the time limit. The more it's finally real, yeah. In your area, the more points you'll earn. The fourth activity booth is called Into the Frame. Waiting frame. under the In this activity, travelers sun? will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. Cool. Can we like we record? Get to make a movie. That's yeah. awesome. Travelers might remember helping out some ah, like so. filmmaking back in Inazuma, but this seems more professional. Wait, maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh. <laughs> we actually like record, about. record. A Fontanian man went to Inazuma to shoot a film. I guess international travel can be a source of artistic inspiration. These events are actually. That must have also been true in Chiori's case, since she pretty opened interesting. Chiori's boutique. If in they Hawaii. are how I think they are. Ooh. That could be a strong theme for our commercial. Actually, <laughs> Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. No. Kuki Shinobu just arrived hey. in the UF for her class reunion. Wait. Yeah, and Ito decided to tag along as the boss of the Arataki gang. And he brought his huh? Onikabuto with him. I think he plans to train his beetles for Oh, is this wow. again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Arataki Blaze He's Arm back. Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That name is definitely very Ito. He's back again. <laughs> right, for sure. And there was also a Beetle Battle event in version 3.4, right? Ito battles against a super powerful Beetle Battler. I believe his name was Grandmaster Hanakado. Mm. Yep. The one and only. Grandmaster Hanakado made an impressive show during the last player. Beetle Battle Thanks. event. This time, he's made the trip to Liyue with Ito. It seems like the two of them. Ooh, so Ito and Liyue? Battle Master. And Ito and Liyue? What? Who is it? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. <laughs> Don't tell us. I'm sorry, I can't give that away. You tell them too much. Have to discover their identity during the event. Ah. Aside from meeting this hmm. mysterious new Beetle Battle Master. Travelers can also look forward he to new ways to mysterious. battle. Mysterious. You just While showed the it right there. And charge mechanics remain unchanged no, from the original else. event. Travelers can now also instruct Onikabuto to use guard to defend against the Who's the master and beetle attack. battle mm -hmm. brawler? Make use of the movement, charge, and guard strategies to topple yeah, this, your this opponents is, this is no matter what they throw at you. 
master them, and you'll be ready to tackle the ultimate I mean, you know, and of the You can probably do. <laughs> Woman <laughs> restaurant. The strong. Travelers, uh, come forward to encountering an old friend in the Fontaine. Hey, Park. another Sealy. That's right. Ullman came to Fontaine, and he brought his treasure map and treasure-seeking Can you have all of them? Oh, there's a brand new one, though. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Our mini Sealy friend is back! <laughs> yes, it's a new so color. Cute. Travelers can help restore the Sealy's vitality Underwater. by absorbing energy from the locations that are marked on Ullman's treasure map. In yeah, return, I don't think we can, like, beam blast. Special beam cannon. Buried treasure. After collecting ancient iron coins during this seems the spend, like it'll be you can exchange them for various rewards, including a mini ceiling in your fun. preferred color. Ooh. Okay, so in the event preview, it looked like some of Moss. the treasure is located underwater. But when I first arrived in Fontaine, I discovered that Sealy couldn't follow me underwater. Is this treasure-seeking Sealy different? Uh, it's a new is update. very observant of you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in this iteration of the Lost Riches the event, been in a new thing. mini Sealy named Brilliance like will be yeah. available. This new mini Sealy can travel underwater. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Treasure isn't the only thing that you'll discover in Fontaine's. Dude, this is like there's a lot of events this time. Where I'm just serious domain guarded by a unique swordmaster who searches for the meaning of battle. I know the first one was just it, wins, all four events from the first one. Get the chance to participate in combat challenges. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. Travelers Not must select their party compositions before the challenge starts. One of your chosen characters must be used in both rounds, but no other character can be repeated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Pearlie Trail, I think. After you played dance objective during a challenge, you will obtain a heightened verve buff. Defeating opponents while heightened verve is active will grant you more points. And hmm. another old friend is returning in version 4.3. That's right. Hey, he's Yay! back. He's back. And if Lieben is around, then that must mean we'll have a this chance kinda, to trade a bunch of items for pre Kind of jam packed. <laughs> this is kind of a patch patch. Okay, so it like back. isn't the Lieben, only old Lieben. friend we'll be reunited with in version 4.3. Several familiar faces will be joining the Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> After this update, travelers will have the opportunity Lenny, to Lenny, Lynette, Senora. Around Fontaine. Ooh. A new Fontaine themed table customization will also be available. Ah, I'm so excited to see hey, Fontaine fights. I know, so exciting. Mm -hmm. Travelers can look forward to the addition of several new cards, Layla, including six Jet. new character cards, plus five new monster cards, such as the okay. Valen, Signora, and Asia, not the lore, will be hopefully. from the corresponding hopefully. tavern challenges. But that's not all. Senora's back. Four I knew it. She wasn't dead. Be making a reappearance, and She's back. There will be an update to the heated battle mode. Be on the lookout for future announcements. I knew she was going to be playable. To look I told to you all. The game as well. No. The Genius Invocation TCG Asia Invitational will officially begin oh. in January 2024. Okay, <laughs> <What>? mm -hmm. <laughs> Travelers can look forward to some friendly competition between the, uh... 16 of the top TCG players all across Asia. I heard they're some of the best in the region. <laughs> so cool. Be sure to follow the Astro Carnival X good or Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news about this epic showdown. The fierce fight. Mm. Oh my gosh. Senor Amin's so rise up. <laughs> Dead play. Okay. Well, so. hang on to that feeling because we're taking a short break to look Let me at see the next before right boss of card. codes. We'll be back to sharing more exciting information oh, about maybe. version 4.3 in just a moment. Yay! Here we got the another, another code. Yeah, so I think it seemed like it was kind of jam-packed because they were showing us four different uh, events from the main event. And then all the other ones were just like the normal uh, events that we usually have. But it's looking pretty uh, pretty jam-packed so far. At the filming stuff, you have at least, what, like two or three combat events, I think? So, looking pretty jam-packed so far. We got Light Liebens back. And yeah, unfortunately though, I, I wish Chevrolet was probably on the first side, but eh, I don't know. Definitely don't want you and me at cons. But I definitely would do want to get uh Chevrolet. Well I guess I'll go guess I'll uh so I'll be getting maybe some more riding cons. <laughs> Welcome oh. back, travelers. We've introduced a lot of content Whip. and we've gotten a ton of inspiration for our commercial. 
Honestly, our promotion is definitely shaping up. Totally. But before we reveal 50 50 on riding. Oh, here we go. System optimization. Oh, we know the all these, though. team has prepared for version 4.3. Okay. First, we have some artifact related optimizations to introduce. Artifact. With an ever increasing amount of artifact sets to choose from. Many travelers Where may are have been for a better and quicker way to filter and locate desired artifacts. After the version 4.3 <laughs> update, travelers can check out artifact set recommendations for a given character oh. to see what artifact sets active players have been choosing for that character recently. That's kind of handy, cool. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of handy. In addition, an automatic locking function has been added. Now, when filtering artifacts in your inventory, you can lock the artifacts that fit your filter specifications in batches. With the automatic locking function, newly acquired artifacts that fit your locking criteria will automatically be locked when added to your inventory. Yeah, if you're adding that, awesome. you gotta add the preset. preset auto lock plans for each artifact set. They even said Travelers it. Travelers can choose their own or follow the recommended settings summarized for active player data. Since it may take some time to collect the necessary statistics, new artifact sets will not feature recommended locking settings immediately. Okay. Yes. <laughs> of course, if you can lock Mayra? artifacts in batches, you can unlock them in batches as well. Travelers can look forward to both of those features in the new update. I mean, yeah, that That's doesn't cool. really... What? Travelers will be able to sort artifacts by three different attributes. Plus, the artifact enhancement screen will allow travelers mm. to add a greater amount of enhancement materials at once. That's another really good one, yeah. Enhancement limit feature will also be Oh, cool. They see that, Hopefully, these optimizations will not only make artifacts easier to find, but also quicker to level. Yeah, I will. Look out for future announcements to learn more. The project team is always working hard to address your survey feedback. So, travelers Are they? look forward to further artifact-related optimizations in future version updates. Improvements to equipping artifacts and other artifact related optimizations are all in the works. Ooh. In addition, the project team you has don't made say. to provide smoother ascension and enhancement experiences for travelers. You heard it here first. When you level up a character, enhance an artifact, or enhance a weapon, like I said, you they no know. longer have to click so many They know what they gotta do. Oh, that's awesome. As a mm -hmm. new player, they know. using a few one and two star materials to level artifacts, the whole They literally already the made flow. the system. Especially they just the have to do it now. Totally. This new optimization significantly reduces Fudge. the amount of pop-up windows that we have to click through. So travelers can look forward to a much smoother enhancement and But all in all, process. these are really good the updates though. Not, not to take that away from them. These are good updates. Challenges. Previously, travelers who tried to continue domain challenges would be sent These to are the very good updates. Mm. This meant they would have to run all the way to the center to start the not challenge. Not anymore. But after this update, travelers who choose to continue in a domain challenge will load right next to the area where you actually start fighting, which is yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so happy farming, everyone. And last but not, or not too much. make it way easier for players to farm artifacts for Navia. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true, true. Definitely. Mm. <laughs> In addition, version 4.3 has made it easier to clear your quest backlog. Archon Quest Chapter 2, Act 4, In the Depths the and Unexpected Leaf. Reunion, takes place in the underground mines of the Chasm. In the past, mm. travelers had to complete the world quests, Chasm Spelunkers, and the Heavenly Stones Debris before being able to proceed to the Archon Quest. I don't remember having to do update, those two. Travelers no longer true. need to complete those two world quests. Mm. Instead, travelers can speak directly to the miner who issued the commission to unlock a teleport waypoint. Oh. It will take them to the corresponding area oh. and automatically trigger oh, the next wow, step of really? the Archon Quest. Oh, wow, really? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this will hopefully make it easier for travelers to quickly progress through Archon Quests. So, speed run so that'll make it significantly easier for newer laps players to access the archon quest and claim those sweet that's good speed there should always be a team possible. working on the game <laughs> yes, to make it easier for newer players also one click expeditions will be available starting in version 4.3 this, this is huge too to claim expedition rewards and you can claim all and click. dispatch travelers them all again at the same time processed ingredients and forged items with a single click and that too yeah. That's going to make it easier to collect rewards from Catherine. Definitely. Mm -hmm. There's also there you a go. Ton of other quality That's of life huge. It's just game. one For simple example, button, but it means so much. To enemy tracking with the adventure handbook and character it means logic so much. And forging. In addition, when performing mystic offerings, travelers will now be able to add artifacts in batches. There's a lot to look forward to. Yeah, those so are, these are all sure good updates, honestly. Announcements for more information. New players even okay, good. Moving on from optimizations, a new Fontaine style realm layout will be added to the Oh, there it is. Pot. Simply purchase the corresponding items from Tubby to unlock it.
Oh, it looks like an aquarium. Oh my, wait, what? It's underwater? <laughs> Travelers can use ocean current to travel between the islands. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I'm rebuilding my certainty pot. The Travelers can use to keep fish. It looks like oh, a whole yeah. underwater kingdom. It's just so pretty. Yeah. I thought it was just gonna be like once travelers have the chance to make them their own. I'm so excited to see what everyone's gonna come up with. Mm. Especially my friends teapots. Uh, <laughs> you just yeah. wanna copy That's their crazy. designs, don't you? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I knew it. I have a I... super exciting news to share with everyone. Ooh. Might try to go for the achievements right. on that one. The annual Genshin Impact online concert, Melodies of an Endless Journey, is coming soon. Yay! Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this December 22nd? This uh, that's quick. This concert is going to celebrate Genshin's classic melodies in an entirely new way. Let's take a sneak peek oh, at really? some of the amazing moments that this Bikini concert bottom, has in yeah. store. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty respectable patch. Pretty packed patch. Packed patch. Uh oh, whose account is this? Oh shoot! All right, it's actually like really good green screen. Another concert on the way. Excuse me. Yes, these are uh, the Celestians. They're brand new, or not brand new. Melodies of Endless Journey. So scenic vistas. So they're gonna be. I mean, they usually are in the area that they're they're like performing in, but this one's like the next level. The 2023 Genshin concert held in Shanghai last September Shanghai. will also be online soon, so stay tuned, travelers. Huh. Whoa, so mm -hmm. we have two online concerts to look forward to? Yep. Further details will be announced Lord across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts, so be on the lookout for more information. They're just up there DJing. At the end of version 4.3, 3, travelers can also look forward to the release of there the we go. Genshin Impact character Wait. OST album. Stellar Moments Volume 4. Who does that start from? Oh, probably like Fontaine. 26 character songs created by the Hoyo Mix team. Wait, we are finally getting Al Haytham and Wanderers OST. Oh, yeah. dang, <laughs> they are far too. behind. Song, Holy All the crap. World, the stage has already been getting a ton of love. Oh, oh Haytham. Awesome. You know, I never, I never realized it because I just listened to like other people's remixes like TNB and whatnot. But yeah, I don't realize that Hoyo Mix doesn't do this stuff until like it's 25 years later so we're just not getting all hate from this theme okay well that's all the new information we have to share about the special update. program so i guess that means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close Aww. all right it's pretty respectable <laughs> but we haven't even come up with a plan for our chiorio boutique commercial Actually, we're not even shooting it. You're right. What? The special program was a pretty good commercial. I wish I was not on the first side. The name boutique after this. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But at least oh the God. patch will be we kind of like spread out this time. Information today, for sure. The most important part so. is our final word from our sponsor, Chioria Boutique. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm so excited to be a part of Genshin. I think those are like, those are other people, I think. All of you to meet. It's like two other dudes. Uh, totally. Mm -hmm, I feel mm -hmm. exactly the same. Can't wait to see more Navia. In yeah, at least we'll action. see and Navia yeah, first side and second side of Shivers. swimming sealy. But dang. Yes, they are so cute. So <laughs> oh my cute. goodness. And I think the new mini games oh. are really fun, especially the one where we get to make like a little mm -hmm. movie. Yes. <laughs> Well, I am just hmm. so glad that the three of us have been able to do this special program together. They're pretty good overall. So oh, much fun. Too. Really fun. Yeah. No, I think those oh, are the other people. Special program. I hope that everyone's looking they both have like kind of like blondish hair. This exciting new content for themselves. Be sure to check it out when the update They're, comes. Yeah, they both have like <laughs> white, okay, yellow bye. hair. Right, bye, <laughs> Goodbye. Zhang Li, what the heck is this? Oh, it's a collab. People always give him good skins when they're not actually in the game. <laughs> Zhongli cameo.
ended. Damn, boy, he got the drip. Also, I, I appreciate they if they finally implemented like the before we start and the after. They did, they did it from like a while ago, but so yeah, all in all, we got Navia the first side, Chevru second side. We have some pretty good events, a lot of um, combat ones. The main one should be pretty pretty funny, pretty comedic. And uh, yeah, and a bunch of enhancements was going to be good. So. Thank you.